Since 1885, cowgirls like Annie Oakley, Calamity Jane, and Lucille Mulhall have wrote themselves into history books while wearing cowboy boots. Join us as we share the tales of today's most influential cowgirls and provide a glimpse of what it's like to walk in her boots. My name is Carly Peterson. I'm the executive producer of Cowboy Channel and Cowgirl Channel, and I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. My favorite part about what I do is our connection with people. TV has this amazing ability to do many different things, and the fact that we get to be in the Western industry and creating, creating all the, the content for it, but also connecting with people is easily my favorite part. You know, TV is, is something really special that I never planned on doing. I went to school for marketing. I knew that I loved working with people. I knew that I loved um, making people feel special. And when we get to put athletes on, this, on TV and do that, we get to celebrate their success. And so getting to do that every day is really cool for me. What I love the most about being a cowgirl is that you can be in many different stages of your life and still be a cowgirl. And cowgirls are known for their classiness. They're known for their grit, they're tough. It's very much a way of life. When I was a cowgirl growing up, I was in a very, very different place than what I was, or what I'm doing now. You know, growing up, we rodeoed and we, <laughs> we went out. We, I grew up in South Dakota. And so when we had to go out in the morning and break ice because, you know, horses have to drink. Now it's, I wear my cowgirl boots to work and I wear it with a dress every day <laughs> to go put other people on TV. And so it's 100% a mindset and a way of life. And it's, you may be in two very different stages or five different, different stages of life and still be a cowgirl. So a day at the NFR is extremely busy. Uh, we have over 10 hours of live programming on the Cowboy Channel every single day. And as the executive producer, I'm over all of those. That's also in three different locations. That's multiple production crews. There's a lot of moving pieces. And so luckily I have one heck of a team behind me because I could not do it without them. Or I wake up pretty early. I, like and I love the mornings. They're very quiet and peaceful. And I get a lot done in that time, whether it's going through emails, making sure our sales deliverables are getting taken care of, our clients are happy, um, checking up on, on rundowns. I like to oversee what content my producers are doing, making sure that that's all set. If there's any changes to set or to the way a show is working, I need to work on that first thing in the morning. So that's, that's pretty early. That's around five-ish, six o'clock start time. And then I'm usually at convention center uh, starting about 10 o'clock each day. And we have programming starting at 10.30 each day there. So I'll spend a while there till about 2 o'clock, 2.30. And once tailgate is off and running, I'm on my way to Thomas and Mac. Then I've got other shows starting at Thomas and Mac. I like to go check in on those crews, make sure the main show is ready to go. If there's anything that needs to be handled, take care of that. Sometimes I'll go to the rodeo. And sometimes if we have a client obligation that we need to take care of, or uh, there's a lot of coverage, like we're working with Rodeo Vegas, of course. And so making sure that's handled or our hooey parties, we always partner with them, whatever that looks like. You know, sometimes there's luncheons or, or things that we need to attend as Cowboy Channel and be the representative. So that gets added in there as well. And so it is, uh, the, boots, the boots go a lot of miles. My go-to go outfit is always a dress in boots because you can make it look like you got it together and be cowgirl. <laughs> so I'm not one to fangirl much, except for Tanya Tucker. She's, Tanya Tucker's the coolest chick on the planet. And I think it'd be so cool to spend a day in her life or in her boots because she's, she's lived a lot of lives and she's seen a lot of things. And the stories that that woman could tell, and another person, of course, is Jimmy Monroe. I mean, that person is, Jimmy is so special to me. She's an absolute mentor. She's taught me a lot. And the knowledge that that woman has to spend a day in her boots uh, would be unbeatable.